When FDI first introduced World Oral Health Day in the year 2007, FDI stated that we welcome all activities and initiatives aim at improving oral health, raising awareness of oral health, and impact of oral diseases on general health, on individual well-being, and national economies. Raising oral health awareness is not as simple as it sounds. In high and medium income countries, people and even very young children still have dental decay, in spite of the huge variety of advertising on internet, radio, television, of oral hygiene products available for everyone to maintain a healthy mouth. In low-income countries where means of communications are difficult and limited, it is difficult to get the message through to people whose existence is marred by disease and poverty of how important and how easy it is to look after their mouths. World Oral Health Day provides a huge opportunity to bring oral health messages to people where they are, within their local communities, with events that support, that entertain, that inform and educate. Today there are hundreds of events going on in over 80 countries. We believe that they will provide enormous impact on raising oral health awareness. Putting all this together requires strategy and planning, and I would like to personally thank all national dental associations dental student organisations, dentists working in local communities, healthcare workers, social workers, in the effort of bringing and ensuring our message of the 2014 World Oral Health Day, celebrating healthy smiles, reach as many people in your community as possible. Thank you. Publicising and organising World Oral Health Day events costs money and it would have been impossible to communicate our oral health awareness messages across the globe without the support and encouragement of our sponsors. Listerine, Signal, Henry Schein and Wrigley's, who have supported us these last 12 months and who have helped local organisers fund their activities. I thank you again for this. Through some 200 national dental member associations and specialist groups in over 135 countries, FDI can rightly claim to be the voice of over one million dentists worldwide. Today, I'm sure they all join me on the 20th of March in encouraging people all over the world to celebrate healthy smiles.